Welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video. Today I want to show you how to configure Qualys Community Edition to run an internal vulnerability assessment on your network. And before we start, let me bring over this oversimplified network diagram to go over this before we start. And what we have here, as you can see, Remember that we created a, uh, an account on Qualys Community Edition, and obviously that is in the Qualys Cloud. And we went over that in a previous video that is gonna allow us to scan up to 16 internal hosts, one web app, and three external IP addresses. And this is all great. And we did an example where we scanned a uh, web app, right? We ran the scan from the Qualys cloud against the web app and all that was external and everything is fine there. But what about if you want to run the scan in the internal network? Remember that your Qualys community edition is a cloud-based solution and unlike OpenVAS and unlike Nessus, you are not going to install the Qualys Community Edition on a local server. What you are going to do, you are going to download a virtual appliance. So remember, you have your Qualys Community Edition. It's in the cloud, and you want to scan uh, th uh, this host inside your internal network. So what you need to do, you need to download a virtual appliance that is gonna reside on your, ver on, on your internal network, I should say. Uh, we're gonna download that and that's gonna be a VM that is gonna reside on the internal network and that's gonna have a uh, connection to the cloud where it's gonna be sending the results and you're gonna be able to see the results of the scan in the cloud, meaning that that's where your management interface is gonna be, not the um, virtual appliance, but you need the virtual appliance to be in the internal network so that you can have access to the resources that you would like to scan internally. And that's what we're gonna be doing here. So for that, what you need to do, let me get this out of the way. You need to, uh, this is the main dashboard that you're gonna see. Remember that from here, you're gonna be able to access your application scan and you're, and you're gonna be able to access the other menus that they have, the vulnerability management. And they have a whole bunch of things that you're not gonna be licensed to. They just have that there because it's the same interface and you know, it's like a marketing thing, right? So you'll see it, maybe you'll need to use it in the future. So what we want to do uh, in this case, we want to go to, there are many different ways you can do that, but like the way that I like to do it and that I get to it, you go to scan. And when you get to the scan, you're going to see an option that says I appliances right here. In this case, I do not have an appliance, so I want to set up a new appliance. So you see the option that says new, and then it says, um, you come over here and you're gonna select new virtual scanner appliance. And when you come down here, remember that with community edition, we have the option of installing one scanner license and you could either download the image, you have the image, or you can just follow the wizard and that's what I'm going to do. And then you're gonna uh, select the name whatever name you want, and then you have to select the virtualization platform that you're gonna be using. In my case, I'm gonna be using VMware, but here are your options, so which is a good thing. We have many options. Just click on Next. And as you could see, it was downloading right at the top. Okay, so I downloaded the virtual appliance and I transferred that to my Windows um, 10 or 11 computer where I have VMware. And from here, I'm gonna go to uh, open a new virtual machine. I'm gonna go to my desktop and I'm going to select the machine that I would like to uh, 
import and again this is just useful information the name of the virtual machine whatever you want to name it and the default directory right so do next blah 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 one interface false proxy network ipv false whatever you want to do here just do it uh, and i'm going to click on import so this is going to be doing its magic and once this is established i still need to do a couple of things to make sure that this virtual appliance communicate with the cloud console for that specific account all right so um, i'm pausing and continuing this video so i don't have like empty spaces between screens so what we see here is that we have to personalize the scanner and this process is going to be simple right so or whatever you would like to do here do you want to set up a network line if you want to assign a specific ip address to your uh, to your appliance or you want to leave it on dhcp uh, and again like it's up to you whatever you want to do here like just configure it the uh, the way that it makes sense uh, to you but something that you have to keep in mind is that you need to have or enter a personalized code and this is what is gonna tie up this appliance to your cloud interface and this is unique to you unique to that specific account that you are using so make sure that you keep that in mind all right so let me uh, go over to the uh, management console to generate the code and when you go back to your management console and you do the initial uh, appliance uh, importing right when you go back to here that's going to show you a personalization code and that's the code that you're going to use here to make sure that this appliance is tied up to that specific account so i'm showing you this because this is trial version and this code is not going to be used or it's not going to be uh, useful after what i do here but this is something that you know make sure you keep it private that you don't share like the code that you have for a uh, real licensed solution out there you, you don't want that but just keep that in mind so i'm gonna uh, enter the code and then we're gonna continue with it so once you enter the uh, personalization code you see that now this is getting the scanner ready is communicating between uh, my new scanner so let me bring the diagram that i have before i don't know what i did with it but anyway so what's going to happen here is that this scanner is synchronizing with the cloud so you're going to have one management console and that one management console obviously is going to be your uh, cloud community edition something that you he that you have to keep in mind is that and we're not going to be talking about this uh, when you run the scan you have to make sure that the traffic is going to be able to or that the scanner is going to be able to get to the different segments that you have and if not you're going to have to open the appropriate ports and create the firewall rules exceptions and if you have other sites that you would like to uh, also run a vulnerability assessment well in that case with qualis community edition you only have one free virtual appliance in that case you would have to license the product and install the scanner and the other locations the same way that we did it here uh, but it's up to you whichever way that you would like to uh, run that configuration so you have to uh, let it run its course something that i did here and that i didn't show you is that the first time that i typed in the code uh, it didn't take it so i had to restart uh, there there's an option to restart the virtual appliance i restarted the virtual appliance and then i re i re-entered the code and i was able to uh, synchronize to the cloud that's something to keep in mind so i'm just going to wait for this to finish and then we're going to continue okay and as you can see here the um, activation was successful as you could see it shows the name of the appliance and the local ip address that was assigned to it 
And if we go over to the cloud, you are going to see that it, the appliance has successfully been added to the appliance section of cloud community edition. You may have to wait a couple of minutes or maybe some time as you could see here. This green icon means that the appliance is active now. So you may have to wait like five to 10 minutes depending on the setup and what you're doing. But once you see the screen here, it's just a matter of time before it successfully connects to your Qualys Community Edition account. So I'm going to stop the video right here. This is how you set up Qualys Community Edition to run internal scans on your network. This is different than what we've done with OpenVAS. This is different than what we've done with um, Tenable, uh, Nessus and the other vulnerability assessments that we have tried in the past. So on the next video, we're going to go over running the first scan using a Qualys Community Edition for you to get familiar with the interfaces and, and the different menus. If you found this information useful, all I ask you for you is to click on the like button, subscribe to, to the channel, and consider leaving a nice comment. Or if you have a question, you can leave the question there, and I promise that I'll try my best to get back to you. I don't always do, but I'll try. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you on the next video.